I represent Southwest Florida. Uh, a lot of my district is very rural. Uh, most of, well, everybody in my district has to go to Bay Pines, which they have to travel some distance to get to Bay Pines. Um, many veterans are told when they have to go for their CMP and examination that they have to plan for to be there the whole day. You need to be there at 08 or 07, which for people in Sarasota, Hardy, DeSoto, Highlands, Glades, Okeechobee counties is going to be like a three to four hour drive. So you're getting up at like three, two, three o'clock in the morning to get there by 0708. And then they're being told that they have to be there the entire day for plan the entire day for their CMP exams. Most working age adults obviously don't have the ability to take off work during the Monday, Monday and Friday for an entire day just to go and get an examination for 30 or 45 minutes. So can you explain to me why our veterans are being told that and expected to be there the entire day? Um, I can't speak for what, if they're going to the Bay Pines VA Medical Center, I can't speak to what their process is. Um, I just look at, I'm just over the contract medical examinations that uh, are administered by VBA. Uh, we do not tell, I don't believe our vendors tell people that. They give them the time of the appointment and then um, ask, just ask them to be at the specific address at that time. Well, they they are being told that because I've been told that just as early as a couple of months ago. Uh, my appeal has been going through the process for now 10 years, eight to nine to 10 years. And I had a CMP exam at Bay Pines and I will tell you my story and then I will ask for why this is happening to our veterans because it's not just happening to me, it's happening to people in my district. So I received the letter for my CMP exam. So here's the letter from my CMP exam from Bay Pines from the VA. The day of the letter is 624. And then in the letter where it says, if the CMP office does not receive your call to schedule appointments for the examination by the identified date above, which the identified date above is Monday, June 24th, which is the date of this letter. So I don't know how you're going to be able to respond on the day of the letter to that date. And then there's a handwritten time in there. I received this on July 3rd which then the next day is July 4th, which is obviously a holiday, nobody's working. And so I had one day to call this um, office. So I called the office and I was told, um, I called the number on the letter for the CMP exam and I'm gonna ask to enter this letter into the record so that you can have a copy of it and the committee has a copy of it um, to just see what I've experienced and I'm sure other veterans are experiencing the same thing. When I called the lady set up the appointment, she said she had one day available, which again, I don't know how working age males can find one day in their schedule. They're going to go on that day and have to take off work for that day and not get paid for that day. She said, I had one day. I had to be there at 07 uh, or 08. And she told me on the phone that I had to plan to be there all day. And I asked her, why would I have to be there for the entire day just for an examination? Uh, she said, that's what the regulations require us to do. So, well, this is what I see your head shaking behind you, but like, this is what was told to me by your VA. Okay. So I said, well, I'm not available on that date. And I didn't tell her I was a congressman. I just told her I wasn't in town that date. And uh, she said, okay, this is what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to, because there's no other dates available in this 30-day window, you're going to have to call me back in two weeks. And she gave me the phone number. I wrote it down for you so you have it. Uh, you're going to have to call back in two weeks because we're going to have to send your packet back to the regional office. And you have to wait two weeks until the regional office then does whatever they do. And then call back two weeks later, then you have to request from the regional office that they send your packet back to this person that I'm talking to, and then wait two weeks to then set up a new appointment, and then they're going to tell you, well, one day, and then you have to be there all day. So I, can you explain to me how that, I mean, what, what, what's happening is a veteran like myself, whether I was in Congress or not, if I was still not in Congress and just a lawyer or just a plumber or an electrician, I can't take off a day off work to drive two hours for a 30 minute appointment. So explain to me how, because what most veterans are going to do, they're going to say, especially my generation of veterans are going to be like, screw it. It's not worth me going up there, taking a day off work to lose the money from going a day off work to go up there and deal with this and sit there. Cause that's what you're going to do. Cause I can explain, I don't have much time left. Hopefully the chair will give me a little, little leeway here, but, um, to sit there all day for a 30 minute examination. So can you explain to me why our veterans are being treated in this manner? 